right, begin. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys woke up happy and healthy this morning. That's the most important thing. Now, before I go any further, I want to ask you guys a favor. I want you guys to go ahead and hit that like button and also smash that share button so we can push this video through the algorithm and hopefully get this channel to where it needs to be. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and dive face first into the drama. So guys, about a couple of weeks ago, I reported that they were talking about Nick Cannon actually replacing the Wendy Williams show, but then all of a sudden they reneged on that idea due to the fact that Nick Cannon has his own show right now and his show ratings are not doing that well. As a matter of fact, they are just trending downward. So basically they said, yo, scrap that. Nick Cannon could never replace the Wendy Williams show. He's just not getting enough ratings. Now, fast forward to November the 10th. It seems that the idea, or at least the conversation, has been presented again that Nick Cannon could actually take Wendy's spot if Wendy elects not to come back. Now, I must say that I find this rather interesting due to the fact that Sherry Shepard has done a marvelous job filling in for Wendy. She really has. She really has taken command of the audience, the viewers, and things of that nature, so much so that I reported that people are saying that Sherry deserves her own show. So you have to ask the question, why would they put Nick in Wendy's time slot when he's already failing at his own gig. And in my estimation, I just feel like Wendy is blocking other women that have the same hue as her. You know, and I'm just saying, I'm just keeping it all the way real. It's like Wendy does not want to help women that have the same hue as her. Remember guys, I reported that Wendy Williams behind the scenes is having trouble with women in particular hosting in her absence. She rather have men to host while she's absent dealing with her health issues. Why is that? Why does Wendy have such an insecurity when it comes to other women filling in for her while she's battling her health issues? Now, when I think about this through and through, there could be a multitude of reasons why Wendy doesn't want her successor to be a woman, and especially a woman that has the same hue as her, due to the fact that if that woman ends up doing better than Wendy as far as viewership and ratings, maybe that's a dynamic that could hurt Wendy's pride, and maybe she's just not built to deal with that. And then you have some people that are in position that wants to be the only one recognized in a certain light. For example, let's take a look at the situation that transpired between Tamar Braxton and Lonnie Love. Now, when Tamar Braxton got fired from The Real, there was a lot of speculation that Lonnie Love had something to do with it. And there are also reports that Lonnie Love plotted against Tamar Braxton because she wanted to be the only ghetto woman on the show. So basically, Lonnie Love was saying that she didn't want anybody on the show with the same hue as her that basically portrayed what she does best and that's being ghetto and so when you look at Tamar and the talent that she brought to the show Lonnie Love was getting a bit jealous because Tamar was still in the show with her antics with her sayings with her mannerisms and Lonnie Love felt some type of way about it she felt that Tamar was still in her shine so Tamar goes from just the co-host to the competition in Lonnie's mind. So what does Lonnie do? She has to do something to get Tamar out of there because Lonnie Love didn't want her spot to be taken by Tamar. Lonnie didn't want people to view Tamar as the better talent. You know, that crabs in the barrel mentality, you know, don't want no one to get ahead of you. You know, you feel entitled because you were here first and you're afraid that this person can make it to the highest height. You know, that type of mentality that has been holding our community back for quite some time. Now, what I want to do right here is I want us to revisit something that's really key to what I'm trying to explain in regards to Wendy Williams of why she feels intimidated by women that have the same hue as her. Now, I don't know if you guys remember you know, Wendy Williams and Nene had a good relationship about two to three years ago. And so Nene talked about the fact that she was supposed to get her own talk show with Deb Mar and Mercury. Now, they're the same company that produces the Wendy Williams show and the Nick Cannon show. So let's revisit what Nene had to say in regards to her not getting her own show and what happened or what she thinks happened. OK, so sit tight and I'll be back. Now, I'm not trying and to thought. I remember that you were supposed to have a talk show. Yeah. 
And it was with Dead Bar Mercury, who also produces Wendy's show. You're so crazy. And Wendy and Kev blocked that. Did they block it? Yes. And you Tell still the truth, shame the devil, <laughs> Nene. <laughs> huh? They blocked your show? I don't know. Do you think they blocked your show? I did think so. Did it's you ever ask Wendy about it? It happened. Uh, no, I don't think we talked about it. Do you think it was her husband? Do you think it was Kev? What do you think I it think was it was her husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you've known Wendy for 13 years. Mm -hmm. So what were your thoughts on her husband? Um, he was not never he was never nice to me. Really? No. I don't think he ever wanted me to really be around. So that was fine. I, I didn't think he was good for her, but, you know. All right. So you guys heard that. So Nene says that she feels that Wendy's ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, had something to do with Debmar Mercury actually pulling a plug on her own daytime syndicated talk show. And I want Nene to understand this, that, yeah, Kevin may have had something to do with it, but Wendy had something to do with it as well, giving the reports that have come out about this recent hiatus that Wendy had to take due to her health issues. And given the fact that behind the scenes, there are rumblings that Wendy is really agitated about the fact that women were actually filling in for her. It makes her feel some type of way, as I said previously. So when you take that into account, it's not above the realm of possibility, Nene, that Wendy had something to do with the fact that you didn't get your own talk show. So in my estimation, Wendy has built this reputation that she doesn't want to help women that have the same hue as her. And I think it's sad that she don't want to see women that look like her excel and put them in contention of being successful. And so it makes you wonder, what does Debmar Mercury owe Wendy? Yes, she's done a lot for them. But at the same time, if she's on one leg and she has one foot in and one foot out and they don't know if Wendy's coming back to the show, it's in their best interest to hire the best talent. Why are they so fixated on hiring Nick Cannon for Wendy's daytime slot when he's not producing the numbers on his own show? So it makes me feel like Wendy has something on Debmar Mercury because why are they honoring everything that Wendy says. I mean, just sit back and take a look at it and think about it, right? Wendy's show in her absence has had a 33% increase in viewership. Nick Cannon can't even get, you know, 300,000 viewers. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy that they would elect to put Nick Cannon in that spot instead of Sherry Shepard. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, I'm going to let this go and let y'all have it in the comments. I want you guys to drop down and let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.